Hey, this is Getting Real with Hillary, and today I am taking on something new. So, I was in a course, I'm always in a course, I love courses, and we were talking about addictions, and I was like, well, I don't really have any, and then I realized, no, I am addicted to insulting myself. Whether I say it out loud or um, in my head, it's, it's constant, it's always. And so, just now when I was, when I was putting this here, I'm like, oh, the room's a mess. My wrinkles, you know, that's always. So I'm not gonna say that anymore. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. That's, that's what I'm gonna practice is not, not focusing on or, or catching it. It's not gonna stop, that's my brain, but catching it and not going to where I think it's true. So that's what I'm trying. Um, so that's one thing. The second thing is I have no heat and I, I didn't have it last night. Um, I couldn't, I have a gas heater and you have to hit the button to get the pilot on and it wasn't going. So I, <laughs> okay, I've been called a drama queen. Fine, I'll admit it. I, I imagined myself waking up frozen to death, right? Which makes no sense. But so all night I had my nice blankets. It wasn't that cold because it had just happened, I think, you know, I heard all this noise and it's a gas heater. So that's concerning, right? All this noise. So luckily I got up to check it and the pilot was out. So that could have been a problem. So I thanked the angels for making all that noise. So I would get up and turn it off at least. Couldn't get it back on. Slept, kept waking it up, kept waking up, tried it. Didn't work. Okay. This morning, this is what I was thinking about all night. You know, how you light a gas grill with a match, you know, and it, boop. So I'm like, well, I'll either blow up or it'll, it'll light. Well, neither one. I didn't blow up. Thank, thank goodness, but it didn't light either. So I, I, um, texted the landlords. I waited till seven 30 and then, uh, I waited to call the gas. No, no, no. I texted the gas. I, whatever, it doesn't matter, but I texted the landlords and then I called the gas company and they said they would send someone to fix it. I'm still waiting for that. The sun is out, it's not as cold. I went and got a little a little heater that I had lent my son. I got that back today. So I'm not freezing right now, but I think tonight will be bad if I don't get heat. So I just, um, you know, I could see, you know, I'm busy, I'm getting it done, la la la. And then all of a sudden, when I was talking to someone, I was like, and I don't have heat. I was like, oh, <laughs> I guess I am upset about it. So that's like, instead of like just allowing myself to be like upset, it is upsetting to wake up in the cold, you know, spending all night thinking you're going to fucking freeze to death, right? But not me. I'm okay. I got it handled, right? So to just be able to let it out, you know, get my busy girl let my busy girl stand aside so I could just go, wow, yeah, it is a little stressful. If they don't fix it, where the fuck am I going to sleep? I mean, I do have places, but it's a little less convenient than living at home. So anyway, so just allowing that, you know, like I could see, I wanted to say, well, it's not cancer and it's not a tragedy. And so just suck it up. But the, the act of just letting it out, you know, just letting it out okay, this is, this kind of sucks. I don't like it. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I don't have to like it. So I did take action. Normally I'm afraid of pissing off my landlord because he's such a, uh, let's just call him sarcastic. Okay. That's, that's an upgrade. He's just sarcastic and I don't like dealing with him. So, but I just said, look, it's cold. This is what's going on. And they're texting, you know, did the guy come yet? Did the guy come yet? So he hasn't come yet. I'm sure it'll be fixed at some point. And I'm just going to breathe. Oh, and here's another thing. Okay. I was at the gym. Now, I'm, I shouldn't admit this, but there was a guy. So I, I'm on these dating apps. I saw a guy who I'd seen at the gym and I didn't click because I was like, ah, he's not necessarily my type. He's kind of... I don't know, I can't explain it. it. Just doesn't seem like my type. But today he came up to me and asked me where my old friend was. And I was like, oh, that was six years ago, but I was on the phone and then he ran away. <laughs> and I, so I was like, whatever. But I was like, no, be a big girl. So I went up to him and I said, I'm sorry, I was on the phone. I don't have any heat. I'm trying to get that fixed. 
And he was like, okay, you know, what happened to that guy? And I was like, well, we were just friends. I said, but I'm grateful that he taught me how to work out, you know, um, but that was six years ago. So anyway, he was like, okay, just wondering. And then I said, you know, what's your name? He told me his name, I told him mine, and that was it. So that was an upgrade from just going like, Gah, leave me alone, right? <laughs> Just leave me alone. So that was an upgrade. I engaged in a conversation. <laughs> you know, and now I have a friend. So I was proud. I was proud that I didn't just go F you like I normally do. So I'm growing. I'm expanding. I'm, what did I say? I'm open to love. That's what I say. I'm open to love. That's new. I'm trusting and I'm open to love. So that's my new declarations. I'll keep you posted as always, and let's hope we get some heat soon. Thanks for listening. Getting Real with Hillary. Oh, we're starting Getting Unstuck with Hillary again in March. So if you know someone's stuck, it's going to be really fun. Doesn't take a lot of time. Not very expensive at all, but worth every dime. Click on gettingunstuckwithhillary.com or go to my website, gettingrealwithhillary.com. You could sign up for my newsletter, which is always entertaining. And inspiring uh, my blog my YouTube you, you can find it all there no more Instagram because that's been hacked but otherwise we're all good thanks bye